My next guest is an incredibly talented artist who's been playing music since she was four years old. Her debut EP comes out May 7th. It is called Circles. It is Kali. Kali, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm holding up well. I am uh, probably just like you in California, just holding yeah. the fort and, and waiting for this thing to subside. How, am I catching you after class here? I know you're still in school. Yeah, um, I have like a weird school schedule in comparison to my friends. So I have a lot less school than most of my friends. But um, yeah, I've, I've been doing homework all day. I didn't do any last week. So <laughs> <laughs> tell me what it's like to be in school during a pandemic where everything is all virtual because I couldn't imagine. I mean, honestly, it's a lot easier because there's a lot less. I mean, there's a lot less busy work. I mean, it's really just all busy work. But there's you're not sitting in like a three, two hour class period doing things that like just waiting around which is a lot of what like school used to feel like whereas now I just like do the work get it out of the way and then <laughs> I have the rest of the day to myself it maybe so. provides a little more balance because you are making music and things like that right so now yeah you're not, now you yeah. don't have to worry about not paying attention and writing lyrics and then being called on yeah no no I I like work around my own music schedule basically like it's I I finally I mean I t I take it as such like a silver lining because I can just prioritize like my own needs and music over school for the most <laughs> part so yeah obviously a lot of artists take this time or have been taking this time to reflect and 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 really figure out what path to take in terms of the subject matter of their music one in terms of hopefulness uh, one may be a little bit more on the even keel and then there's also the dark side of things how have you been handling your self-care and mental health um honestly it's like it's crazy just being just being my age and like taking all of this on but i mean i would say that in real life and like what what I don't what I'm like in terms of just just when I'm not writing is uh, I'm I'm more realistic about things but when it comes to writing I feel like I sort of let out like all of the emotions that I've been like internalizing to get through my day so definitely I would say like the music that I've been writing is a bit on the darker side but um than what I'm what I've been used to writing but I definitely think it's a good outlet and like everyone everyone needs one it's an interesting take that you have on music and songwriting and I think that it's very mature uh, you're very <laughs> emotionally intelligent for uh, being your age and some people will obviously make note of that how much did you how much did you take from your training, especially your involvement in the School of House, oh, sorry, the School of Rock House Band? Um, well, I think like since I, I started at a really young age, I was around a lot of, I've always been surrounding myself with older people, whether that be like people older than me and still in their teens or adults that play music. So um, from, I think that like definitely that played a huge part in it and it was just like I had more of a responsibility and commitment to like after school activities and music than like a lot of other people so like when I was in elementary and middle school I found it like um I was often like doing music stuff instead of like I don't know having play dates <laughs> but it was still fun. Like, I'm glad I did it. It like played a huge role in role in my development. It sounds so formal, but <laughs> yeah. What's interesting that I find in your background is, is that not only did you have this passion for music, but you, you dabbled in the acting world as well. Your, your dad <laughs> is an actor. Your mom is, is working in the industry, not, you know, on camera or anything like that. And I saw that yeah. you were in True Blood. Uh, and you have, you know, all these headshots when you were younger and things like that. What was driving that side? Um, I think, okay, I'm, I'm, 
that's really funny that you bring that up because like a lot of my friends don't even know about that stuff like I I uh I it it's like a mysterious part of my past but um I think I was sort of just doing it to try it out you know I'm pretty open-minded and like I I just when I when I started doing it it was like super fun for me and like interesting and I liked being on set so yeah that I just I just dabbled because like that's like what also like sparked my interest in like making music and stuff like just why not like try something new you know and now we have a handful of singles that you released back to the start and then Lucy is is the more recent one and they don't sound loud they're very uh, soft yeah. uh, you know a little bit more on on the softer side uh, when were those written and what was the mindset at that time well what what I what I think is cool about the EP is that I started writing it I started writing back to the start and Lucy when I was 14 and then I didn't end up I recorded I wrote them alongside like making the demos both of those songs were just expressions of it's of like infatuation and not really knowing what to do with it especially when I first started writing them it was like a very very fresh feeling that sort of overwhelmed me I didn't know how to handle it so What's interesting about Lucy is, of course, is the subject has this love for this girl. And to write about a same-sex relationship at a young age shows a lot of confidence. It's very bold. And, and to me, right, I'm a fan of music in general. If it's about love, I don't care about who it's with and what have you. Um, what do you attribute to your confidence in approaching and, and writing and expressing yourself the way you do? I think for a while when I when I was I mean when I was I've been doing it for so long so I guess it's like with practice like you get more comfortable but I think that playing live like had a huge impact on that because like playing these songs live uh gave me that reassurance that like it was all okay like like it's just like it's just music you know and these like at that point in time, I, I remember when I wrote Lucy, I was like really hesitant about it because I felt like it was a very direct song. Um, and so, but I feel like the, the act of writing music is supposed to be honest. And so in that sense, it, it just gives me the vehicle to be more confident because it's like, there's, I, I just have to do it, you know? Um, but yeah, definitely it's, it has to do with like playing live as well. I would also like it to, to attribute it to your mother and your, your father to an extent as well, because they named you Kali, which I understand is a Hindu goddess. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, have a, I have a Kali poster like behind me. Wait, hold on. It's the second one. It's no way. This, yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, my my mom named named me after that goddess. Um, my mom is Indian. She grew up in England um, to to immigrant parents, but um, her her mom was like hesitant to even like she didn't want me to be named that name because it's like considered to be like too powerful um in India so <laughs> it's it's I, I always I always got a I was a little like I always was a little shy about it when I was younger but now I just think it's so cool because I don't know anyone with my name and I think it's like really important um because I feel like that that part of me and that's that part of my culture is like it's uh it's really interesting and cool so i think it's an awesome name and it really yeah. is just so representative of you and important for today where we need more female uh, representation we need more women out in in uh, front and center 
and uh, yeah. especially talented ones like yourself. I completely agree. Yeah. I mean, that's like one of my goals is to like help other, other, other women, other people that don't feel like they identify in the, the gender binary spectrum. Um, just, just make the music industry more diverse in, in every sense, uh, not just the performing aspect, but we need more people that are writing about uh, not the normal experience and we need to normalize it so that, yeah. you know, it just continues to, to spiral, you know? Exactly. Well, gosh, this has been a great chat. I really enjoy your music. You're an awesome person. Um, congrats on some of the uh, accolades that you're getting now. There's more to come and best of luck on your future. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 oh,